What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Now, today we are back here with a Cricket Memes Discord episode number 174 here on this Tuesday. Is this a Tuesday? Look, honestly, staying up till like 2, 3 a.m. every night for the cricket is honestly just panning days into themselves. But Australia did win last night, so it's I finally have a reason to be happy. I only had the time to actually record the one video today, so I, I, I was between the match review and the memes. But then I'm like, with the memes, I'm sure everything will be incorporated into the into the one. So it's like, hopefully we get a bit of, bit of everything. But hey, if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and comment down below for just good luck, just your team to win the World Cup. Um, you know, all of that stuff that regular clickbait YouTubers say to get people to click. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> let's get straight into it. The man Sonny Narine was watching England versus Afghanistan in Delhi and... It's actually inspirational to see, you know, a West Indies player at the World Cup because he's the only one of them there. So it's good to see. Um, but yeah, Sonny, he's looking really fit. He's looking good. Mohawks on fleek. Earrings looking fresh. Sonny's are on. He's even got the Kolkata shirt on. I mean, I don't know how much KKR had to pay him to wear that, you know, when he's not playing. But hopefully, you know, it's all good. We love you, uh, Sonny. I can't believe the ICC uh, are letting one of the world's most historically oppressive nations play in a World Cup. It's a complete farce. <laughs> Jeez, I hope Afghanistan beats them. Yeah, and what they did, my word they did, and what a fucking game that was. If you didn't listen to my review of that game yesterday, go do so. Oh, that, that Honestly, reviewing yesterday's game was almost just as good as last night's Australian win. Missed his deserved century. He did. He, he, he is a gun, Gerbars, and he was not happy when the skipper ran him out. All I'm going to say is Rashid Khan would never. So, you know, maybe if he was captain, he wouldn't have done it. <laughs> India's first actress to lose a gold phone. Uh, we've got Ratatouille. What's going on? Lost my 24 carat real phone. Is that real? Can you actually get a, a, a gold iPhone? That is insane, I'm not going to lie. At Narendra Modi, if anyone comes across it, please help. Oh, so she, she did she lose it or did someone steal it? That's uh, uh, There's two different things, you know. If you lost it, hmm, I don't know. What is she doing there? <laughs> What's going on there? Who took it? Someone own up. Someone tells me it was Jay Shah. <laughs> oh, it's Sharma in his last few innings in the World Cup. 137. 34, 122, not out, 57, 140 off 113, which that's ridiculous. That's <laughs> ridiculous hitting one off, oh, 118, 102, 104, 103, 10, 131, and an 86 to go along with it. I mean, yeah, Hitman is a different beast come the World Cup. And honestly, it's honestly hard not to say he's the greatest World Cup batsman of all time. Like, you can't have the most centuries in, in history of a thing and not be arguably the best at it, right? So, yeah, the amount, yeah, row it. He's, he's leading from the front with the old stick, isn't he? Uh, Afghans blowing through this England batting order like an... Okay. Um, I'm going to have to edit that one out, I would assume. We'll move on. That was a funny meme. Oh, boy. Uh, Virat also spotted at our own Jakely Stadium. <laughs> so they had all the boys out there. So Coley was out there in the Indian kit. I thought he had it. He probably has a game to prepare, but he probably thought he'd get a few, you know, like picks in, go see the fans. Damn, that's inspirational. You don't see many cricketers do this now, so it's pretty cool. This is like some old 1870s sort of stuff where you go out with the fans into the crowd. Decision review, Sanju. DRS, Dinesh review system. DRS means Dhoni review system. And hold on a minute. DRS is decision row it system. Hmm, I don't know. That seems like we're getting some impressions here, Johns. <laughs> and you can see the difference of the likes on them. 3, 8th of March 2018, and then this year, MS Dhoni, 23,000 likes. So it's fair to say he's come a long way, the man Johns. Shout out to Johns. He's always, you know, he's always tweeting cricket news, and that's what we love him for. Bro is here in India to assess the pitches for IPL 24. <laughs> What is he actually doing there? Like, is he there to collect some CSK payments or what the fuck's going on? I, I get him. You know, he knows where his money lies. 
Make sure he stays fit for Donny and the boys. And I get it. Priorities in the top, in top order. Afghanistan defeating the world champions. <laughs> Honestly, I think that's Afghanistan and that's England now. Um, it's fair to say. I can, I can agree with it. Yes, sir. Man, what a game. What a day. What a, what a, what a few couple days here in the World Cup. I mean... You know, just big results happening all, all over the park now, isn't there? Uh, England losing to a Minia in every World Cup is permanent. To Ireland in 2011, yikes. Uh, to Bangladesh in 2015, yikes. To Pakistan in 2019, Minia? I, I mean, sure, okay. And then to Afghanistan <laughs> this year. So, yeah, fuck. I mean, although you got to remember 2019, they had a few dodgy losses that World Cup and they actually ended up winning it. So... Hopefully not the same thing uh, this year. That would, yeah, that would ruin my year if England won. So we've got Virat Kohli, Sunil Narayan, Honey Singh, and Monty Panesar. Monty, that's no. Okay, hold on a minute. You're not get. That's not Monty. <laughs> oh, <would, laughs> just because he's got a beard and he's wearing the um, what do you call it? I, ca I can't remember what it's called. Um, I know it's called a do rag in some countries, but I can't. I know it's called different things over the world. But come on, bro. Like, I, I believe that's Sonny. We know that's Coley. But that one's fake, all right? You, you're not going to trick me. Look at them hanging out. This is so wholesome. Nice. One against the fluke champions. Yes, sir. Indian fans came to support the Afghan brothers. I like that. Hey, honestly, anyone is your brother if they're against England. That's just as simple as cricket world gets. Basbol, go bars, Basbol. Go basketball, that is a, we used to pray for times like this. We really did, man. Oh, and, and hey, winning by 69 runs means a little bit extra too. So we always appreciate that. And here you go, nice win margin there for Afghanistan. So it, it really is a, just an emotional tribute there. Because um, we know what's happening recently with, actually I won't say her name because YouTube might not like it. Hold on. Uh, England <laughs> donating two points. Hold on. Drake, calm down. England donating two points to Minions in every World Cup. Bangladesh and Ireland, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and Afghanistan. So, uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully the same thing as 2019 doesn't happen. Otherwise, yeah, I just, yeah. We need we need them to get smacked out of the World Cup as soon as possible. England getting humbled by Minions in the World Cup is heritage. Wow. That Bangladesh kit too. That was, yeah, I like that. Invent a new sport, spread it around the world, be bad at it. Yes, sir. That's the true English way. I like that. We got Dally. Hey, this is nice. I like how they do this sort of stuff. Afghanistan cricket has changed a lot uh, since they began interacting with Dali. <laughs> it's, it's, he changes lives. He changes careers. He makes players. And... You know, the funny thing is, is that like, it's somewhat true. Like you see guys like Gerbars or you'll see these players go meet Dhoni after the game, have a talk with him. And suddenly they're like these sensational cricketers after they talk to Dhoni. It's like they get blessed or something. Um, yeah, it's actually, it's actually kind of weird how it happens, huh? Maybe someone should, um, I, I wish it worked on Australians because we, uh, that would be better. A breathtaking stat. England become the 43rd country beaten by Muhammad... 43rd? I don't even know that was that many countries. By Muhammad Nabi as an international cricketer. From wins over Bhutan, the Maldives, China, and Argentina. The man has literally played against Messi in a cricket game. That is ridiculous. Who put the one piece up? <laughs> Who put the one piece flag up during a protest? Oh, brother. I share that to One Piece. I, actually, I have never watched entirety of One Piece, but I've seen like the first five or six episodes. And then they've removed it off, um, I think it was on Amazon back in the day. I can't remember. Damn. Damn. Oh, that, oh, that was personal. Oh, hell no. Oh. <laughs> She's whacking her. Nah. I didn't even pay attention to the team logos. I just saw abuse. Uh, Brendan McCullum. It didn't seem like an ICC event tonight. 
Oh, brother, let's be brutally honest. It seemed like a bilateral series. It seemed like an ACB event. I didn't hear Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> and DJ was only keen to play Afghan Jalebi. So, yes, that does play a role. And he, he's just speaking facts. I mean, this is similar to Mickey Arthur, of course, who um, said that he didn't hear any Pakistan songs playing in India. So, that's it's, um, it's mind-boggling, isn't it? It really is mind-boggling stuff there. That is the funniest tweet. Uh, former Pakistan cricketer Danish Kaneria tweet after the victory of Team India. Next time, dedicate your victory to humanity. Uh, the Almighty never supports cruelty. Huh? What the fuck's he talking about? Uh, what's broke? What's he cooking? I don't think he's cooking much. It doesn't sound good. What? Who is this guy? Hold on. Danish Kaneria. I think he played back in like the, the early 90s maybe, but yeah, I don't really know what he's talking about there. This isn't an upset. Everyone is happy. Yeah, man, things, just things, when great things happen, England, losing. <laughs> happy birthday to Jack Callis, the greatest all-rounder of all time <laughs> after Shakib. <laughs> he's one of the greats, he really is. Bangladesh Premier League T10 legend, Jack Callis. Of course, he is second behind Shakib, but that's that, that is quite understandable. So, wow, this is the true all-round goat right here, my man Shakib. Cold Carter Knight Riders legend. Uh, second upset loading. The boys coming up with a way to somehow screw up tonight's game v SL, and you know what? That was looking very ominous early when Sri Lanka were one for 125, or sorry, none for 124. I was ready to chuck the TV out the window. I was not feeling too good. Everyone liked that. <sighs> Getting a bit emotional when I keep seeing these photos. Um, it's just happy. Australia's reviews be like reviewing Plum LB. No thanks. Reviewing eight stump line deliveries. That's what I'm talking about. And that first review that I saw us burn last night off the very first ball, and then a few, like six or seven overs later, whatever it was, Glenn Maxwell comes on to bowl. Plum LBW, I'm sitting in my bed. I can see that that's fucking out. Not given by the umpire, and then not reviewed because we were scared to burn our last review. I'm telling you what. Uh, Dally, a huge thanks to all of the fans at the stadium who supported us and kept us going throughout the game. And to all of our support around the world, thank you for the love. Yeah, shout out to the man Rashid, the one man who can save Australia. I mean, hey, I, George Bailey, tap me in. I can do a bit of both, bit of bowling, bit of batting. Sir Andy Flower taught me. Um, even Grant, bit of him, bit of Raza, bit of influence on my career. So I'm always happy to strap back on the pads and, you know, no helmet, just a floppy green for mine. Um, and, and I'm out there just... Just let me know, George. Um, I can easily fit in for Steve Smith, the way he's batting. Just slot me in. I'll, I'll roll over the arm and I'm here for a service. Of course, we did win last night, but I'm not here to carry the drinks around. Pay me the big bucks, all right, George? Me when Camo didn't review Maxi's Plum LB. This is what I'm just talking about, man. This It, it, it could have really ruined... Australia after that and not reviewing it because they showed the replay on the big screen so thankfully uh, didn't let the boys go down too long and um, then we finally took some damn wickets what cruelty is he were talking about that's what I'm saying what what was he actually talking about <laughs> the last three World Cup performances in league stage matches played 18 I assume this is about India 16 wins one loss one no result a win percentage of 94% so that was 2015 right I think Yes? All right. I think so. So they came first, clearly. Um, 2019. Yep, us and uh, India. And then this year, India's on top. So, so far, so good. They are looking, of course, on home deck. I mean, you're feeling pretty fucking good, aren't you? Who's going to tell them? <laughs> I did, yeah, I did see this on Twitter last night. So, hey, it's great to see, you know, support for New Zealand. Of course, this is the New Zealand flag, not Australia. Uh, because of the red stars. So, you know, close. Uh, we appreciate it, but yeah, we're gonna have to do the uh, we're gonna have to do the geography quiz. Maybe you guys know I have flag videos on my channel, so if they need some advice, go watch them. Someone let them know where the channel is. 
Wow, incredible tribute right there to Pakistan for getting bowled out for 69 in the Super League semi-final. Let's read the score here. Gil. Oh, so this was under 19, was it? Uh, Gil, 102, not out. Pritvi Shaw, 41. Is that Ant? An uh, hold on. Anukul Roy, I think is how you say his name, 33. Ishan, hold on. Is that Ishan Kishan who took four wickets? Please tell me that's not true. Rayan Parag took two far, and Abhishek Sharma took one for none. So, good lord. That is a fucking smashing. Check from the bottom. Hey, you know what? I don't know where we are now. I think we're around here somewhere, just above Bangladesh or maybe just below, but we're off the bottom. So the jokes can stop. <laughs> the jokes and the pain can stop until we lose our next game. Uh, Harris Ralph won't ever recover from these sixes. Yeah, fuck me. I mean, how can you? How can you recover? And I mean, Rowett hit a few bombs off Ralph that night too, but there was one that was so similar to Collie's drive over Ralph's head. The exact same shot. It went straight over Ralph's head for six and... Oh, man. Like, you know, that was all I could think about at that exact shot time. Mitchell Stark in World Cups. Two for 47. Is this six for 28? So this... Right. This is wickets. That's runs. I think. Two for 18, two for 29, four for 14, two for 40, two for 28, two for 20, one for 31. All right, there's too many numbers there, but plenty of wickets. Never gone wicketless in 21 consecutive innings, 54 wickets. Yeah, that's not fucking bad. I don't know where he actually ranks for the most wickets at World Cups, but I imagine it's top three, at least top five. It might be one. He might be one. I'm actually unsure. Uh, divided by borders, united by bankruptcy, <laughs> and collapses. Yo, this is crazy. If there has ever been a World Cup on collapses, I won't run with the first one. Uh, on this day 10 years ago, Virat, Rowett, and Darwin Trio started their dominance in world cricket. Virat was the fastest 100 uh, in ODI cricket, player of the match award for Rowett. Um, and then Darwin, an incredible 95. I think, was this the first game of the series too in 2013? Of course, there was seven games entirely played, a few non-results, but um, yeah, I mean, we know what fucking happened that series. Runs, runs, and more runs. So that was a good series. Uh, one of the all-time series, to be honest. It is time. It was looking fucking at time, wasn't it? Uh, give me knockouts or I'll retire. <laughs> Oh, smudger. Smudger, smudger, smudger. I don't know what's going on with you, smudge. But gee whiz, I'm not... Like, when he went out and then we were on the back foot early, two for 24. Yeah, I did. I did start. I, I let out a few tears, I'll be honest. It, they started rolling. Viral photo of Barber and his teammates after yesterday's match. Well paid, India. Oh, man. Love from Sri Lanka. <laughs> what is going on here? 36 for H, Valanca 52 for 9. Those are the clumps of wickets that they lost. Yeah, eerily, eerily similar. Virat? Rhodes? Dhoni? What? <laughs> oh, the man Speedy. Looks like he's having the greatest time of his life over there. Um, we've got more Ratatouille content. 69 million followers. Now that is inspirational. And her bio says first female actress from India to lose a 24 karat gold iPhone. You know what? It sucks. No one should steal. But if you've got an iPhone covered in 24 karat gold. It's It doesn't seem like a good idea to me. It just doesn't. It, it really seems like a target. Um, Chile women scored 22 runs and 21 of them were extras. Nine players got out on zero. Bro, what, what the fuck happened? They've got enough eggs to bloody make an omelette. So she made one off 14. So she dug in. She dug in. Is this a test match or a T20? Good to see Emma La Toro dug in there for a big one. I like that. 
top scored. Australia after defeating Sri Lanka. Yes, sir. We're back. Greatest World Cup comeback of all time. And uh, you can pretty much lock us in for that final right now. Yeah, we've got some work to do still. General instructions. The question uh, paper contains. Crying is allowed, but please do so quietly. Do not wipe tears on exam paper. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's how some of those exams be. And stress the hell out of you. Um, although, just remember, as much, you know, important that sort of schooling is, don't put your whole life and don't pin it on doing good on a paper or doing amazing. Like, you know, there's other ventures out of life, not just, you know, getting the, the highest and top grade of, you know, knowledge. Like, there's always stuff, right? Um, that was not inspirational at all. IOC cites Virat Kohli's fan following behind inclusion of cricket. Seems fair enough. It was an easy pitch to the IOC as one of the five new sports because of Kohli's global stardom, yeah. It's probably a good guy to lead with. Um, I feel like Kohli's name, you know, is out of the cricket circles now. Like, I feel like people who don't watch cricket or don't care for cricket even know the name. So, he might, be, yeah, I, it's pretty pretty global now, I'd say. Uh, Gambier slams Baba for his slow innings after India. <laughs> oh, Gambier. He, I don't know what's going on with Gambier. Before the tournament, he said he was going to top score. And now during the tournament, he says he looks like shit. So you've got to, you're either on his side or you're not. <laughs> you're either with him or you're not, man. I'm not going to go big screen because, oh. Oh. It's up his bum. <laughs> it's up his bum. Shoot. Oh, brother. No. He's got holes in it. How the fuck did that happen? Why did it shoot back? That is, yeah, that's a bit unlucky there. It's when you're having a bad day. Um, we've got this last one here. Found this old interview. Don't worry, Liam, we're with you. Oh, shit. What's going on here? Hold on, let me turn this up. <laughs> Michael hates his son, Liam, because he played for Zimbabwe. What? Hold on, I haven't seen this. He also abuses Liam for having a YouTube channel. Yeah. Why do you hate him? So I think at every reason he's pissed off. But I don't think my language is appropriate. Will you keep him in basement forever? Yes. Okay, Michael, it's been seven days since I've fucking eaten or drinking anything. Either let me out or just finish me off. Your wife don't like Liam at all. Have you ever thought of disowning and kicking him out of the house? Oh, definitely. What? Bro, what the actual fuck is this? This... Michael hates his son, Liam. Okay, Michael, we're going to have to have a chat later. Um, hopefully I see you. Hopefully I see some daylight, some sunlight within the next couple weeks. And um, when you bring down my bucket of water, we'll have a chat. Man, that's that's kind of heartbreaking to finish off with there. Um, I will stay strong. Thank you for that. But hey, that will cap us off there on a really depressing note. I mean, I can't believe my, my own father would say some shit like that, but... This kind of makes me happy. 69 million followers. Hey, that will cap us off. I hope we enjoyed this Cricket Memes episode 174, I believe. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see everyone in the next one.